Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to use if else statements in Python. So I have given you a little brief introduction how to use if else statements. But there is more to if else statement, which is uh, l if statement and nested uh, if else statement. So let's see how we can use uh, those two. So for example, I'm going to just uh, take a new example. So I'm going to delete all these uh, stuff. And for example, I want to compare some names. This time I want to have a variable called name. And I want to take an input from a user that uh, he will give uh, me a name. And then I will compare the name and I'm going to show the result. Okay. So what I can do is I want to compare the name, right? Uh, so in my if condition, I will compare my name if my name and to compare equality, you use double equal, not this, but double equal sign here. Okay. So always remember if you want to uh, compare the equality of two string or two uh, values, you just use not single uh, equal to, but you use double equal to. If you use single equal to, this means assignment. So assign. So this single equal to means that assign the value whatever user enters to the name. But if you use double equal to, it means that you want to compare the two values. Okay. So I want to compare this value to, for example, name called Mark, and I can say uh, print the name entered is the name entered is and then comma name for example. Okay. Now I want to check some more names if the user enters some uh, other names, right? So for example, if a user enters some other name, I want to check it. So how I can check it? Just I can check it by L if condition. Okay, so there is a condition called else if. This L if means else if. Okay, and then I can check one more condition. For example, this name is uh, this time John. And then I will print uh, some other value. Oh. So I will uh, just print the name of John here. So the na name entered is John. In a same similar way, I can have uh, multiple if else conditions like this. And just to remember to give the indentation. And then, for example, some other name I can compare or some other name I can compare. Okay. So if you want to uh, compare different conditions, you can use L if condition. And else if the condition is false, what I can do? I can just print that the name entered is not valid, for example. Not valid. Okay. And now I will save the program and when I run this, it asks me to enter a name. Also, for example, I enter a name Mark. It says the name entered is Mark. Okay. Once again, when I run the program, once again, and this time I entered some other name, for example, Tom, and press enter. It says name entered is Tom because it goes here. So what's uh, the flow of the program? So we are checking or we are asking the user to enter any name. So when uh, the user enters any name, this name it goes in this name variable. And then the program comes to this place to compare this name to the name called Mark. And the, if the name is Mark, it will print this okay otherwise it will go on to check 
uh, that if the name is John and if the name is John it goes here and it print this otherwise it will check if the name is Julie and it will print this okay so in this way your uh, if else statement works or else if or if else else if else if else if else so lf means else if and you can uh, compare multiple condition using lf right now for example i want to uh, you know have multiple if condition inside my if condition okay so it's called nested if condition okay and i uh, tell the user to enter any a name and if this name is uh, let's uh, say name uh, we assign this value this name to for example we have this name is equal to animal animal and then this I declare another variable uh, animal name for example animal name and this animal name is uh, dog okay so I have a name which is animal and then I have animal name is equal to dog so first of all I want to compare if the name is animal okay so if the name is animal then I will I want to do some some other or I want to check some other condition in this uh, animal condition so I will just I can just uh, give my one more condition to check if this animal name is equal to so double is equal to dog okay dog and don't forget this colon and then I will uh, print here so if your if statement starts from here in the last video I've shown you that you need to give the um, indentation here okay if you write so let me show you print you can just uh, print valid animal valid animal okay so why this indentation here is more important is because for example I can just write print uh, like this without I only give this indentation so I can say uh, name entered is animal okay so see the indentation here here indentation uh, so this statement belongs to this if condition and this print statement belongs to this condition because this comes in the line of this if statement right so whatever you write here in the line of this it will be the condition of or valid condition of this and it will print this one and if uh, you know animal name is dog it will go here and it will print valid animal so what do you think what happens let's see what happens I will just run my program save it and it says valid animal name entered is animal right so uh, and just remember that whenever you want to give uh, the statement or code for this if condition just uh, make sure that this is in line with this if and whenever you want to give the code for uh, this if condition you just give your uh, statement in this uh, or along this line okay so indentation just remember indentation and this is called the nested if else condition so what we have done we have checked if uh, this name is equal to uh, animal and if name is equal to animal 
then we say that uh, we compare one more condition that if animal name is dog and then we print this or in the case of name uh, any uh, this animal name is not dog we can just say else and i can just print one more condition print animal name i can just uh, print animal name in valid okay so this is my if else condition inside my another if condition so this is like a parent if and this is like a child if else condition okay so i just change this name some other name cat for example and i save it and i run it and invalid expression because here i forgot the colon save run it once again and now it will print animal name is invalid because it goes here and it sees okay name is equal to animal so i go to this condition but animal name is not dog here it's cat so it's it goes in this condition and it says animal name is invalid and then it just print the name entered is animal okay so in this way you can use else if and nested else if statement in python i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now